Hi, I am Laura Deal, speaker, author, and a bereaved parent. I want to address a couple of emails on the same topic. The first one says, hi, Laura. One of my biggest struggles in the early years was that my husband and I did not communicate. He buried his feelings and hid them from me. I wanted to talk, but he didn't. It put a lot of separation between us and almost broke us up. Our stubbornness, faith, and belief that divorce was not an option kept us together. Lori. Uh, here's a second email. We lost our son from a pulmonary embolism. The thing I'm struggling with, besides the obvious grief, is encouraging my husband to do grief counseling with me or the family. He believes we as a family have been good therapy for each other. However, we don't go deep and truly talk. What could I say to convince him how beneficial that would be? Thank you, Carrie. Well, as much as this probably isn't the answer you're looking for, you can't convince him. And trying to do that could drive a wedge between you and your husband that will separate you even further. Men grieve so much differently than we women do. Our brains are wired differently. Everything is connected and one thought leads to another thought and they're just so intertwined. And we need to talk about it to help us sort all of this out and to be able to move forward in our healing process to find a way out of the dark Men, for the most part, they only like to talk about their problems if they're talking to someone that they believe can help them fix their problem. And let's face it, this is a problem that just can't be fixed. Talking to someone is not going to bring our child back. Men just aren't deep talkers like women are, and talking doesn't necessarily help them process what has happened like it, like it does us. When we grieve, quite often we as moms will go to the cemetery and sit and cry, we'll hold their things, we'll go into their bedroom and sit on their bed and we'll look at pictures and we just cry. And we have to do that as a way to help us process that this really happened. And our husbands wanting to protect us and, and to help us will tell us, stop doing those things. You're doing this to yourself. Put the pictures away. Quit going to the cemetery. Quit doing that to yourself. They don't understand that that's how we process things because for our husbands, for the most part, having all of that stuff distracts them from being able to process. They need to be able to go into their nothing box. They need, they don't, they can't have all of those things around them for them to be able to process what has happened and work through their deep grief. A lot of parents find that counseling just doesn't help as much as they thought it would. I think that's because we really don't need to be analyzed. We we know what's wrong. And what a lot of parents discover that helps them the most is to be connected with other parents who get it, who are ahead of them on this journey and who've been in that place of suffocating darkness, who can relate to our struggles and our fears and our confusion. And uh, we can see that if they made it through, maybe, just maybe, I can make it through too. My husband Dave wrote a chapter in my book, When Tragedy Strikes, and it might be uh, helpful to for husbands to hear from another dad what it was like for, for him when we lost our daughter. We can send you the chapter of that book if you would like us to. Just email my husband at dave at gpshope.org. Just send something like, send me the chapter of your book. <laughs> I need the chapter of your book, and he'll get that out to you. The bottom line is that most husbands don't benefit from counsel or talking about it, but communication is needed in our marriage. It is really needed. So husbands, you may not want to talk about it, but your wife needs to. She needs to know where you are in this process, and she needs to be able to have conversations with you about your child. And yes, she's going to cry, but she's crying anyway. And the thing is, she would there are times she would rather cry with you by her side than to cry alone. Your silence can make us think all kinds of horrible things. And so I encourage you to talk to your wife once in a while as you process through the grief and do some of this together.
Now, I just really want to emphasize, I am not saying don't get counseling. There are times we need counseling. Losing a child is a trauma. It's considered a traumatic grief. And a lot of parents have PTSD on top of that trauma based on how that child died. You may need counseling. Maybe your husband does need counseling. So I'm, I'm not negating that at all. But what I'm saying is that you can't force them to. And sometimes that's not always the most helpful thing. Sometimes the most helpful thing is being around other parents who get it. If this resonates with you and it makes even just a little bit of sense, why don't you let me know by writing in the comments below this video, something like we are different and uh, just let me know that this is helpful to you. Also, if you found it helpful, can you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you would like to receive more videos and know when, when they are available as they come out. And please be sure to share this video with someone else who might need it. I am Laura Deal, co-founder with my husband of GPS Hope, and I am a grieving parent sharing hope.